we will see the transaction code SM37 which is used for background jobs monitoring. So this is also as a basis consultant you need to perform this activity on daily basis. So to see the job monitoring you have to enter a transition code SM37 and you need to hit enter. Now here you will find this all of status options which I already explained you in my background job topic. So if you want to see which jobs has been released only then you have to uncheck all other status and if you want to see all users then you have to put a star mark and if you want to see from the longer date then you have to put the date and then you have to execute. So no job matches the selection job. That means no job is right now with the release status. Similarly if you want to check is there any job has been scheduled no job has been scheduled. Let me see if any job has been finished successfully, execute. Yes, there are a lot of jobs have been finished successfully by so and so users. So this is how you are going to monitor the jobs. So finish means it successfully, but if in case any job get cancelled, okay, then you have to escalate that to particular user that this job has been cancelled. Okay, so this is how you have to analyze the job country. Like if you want to read any logs if the job get cancelled, say well, since now there is no job been cancelled, let me take the finished job and execute and here you can see the logs are written in the spool column. If in case the job get cancelled and you want to see why that job has been cancelled. So you need to read the log, okay, it will display if there is any issue, okay, so I am selecting this, I am going on this, I will click on the type, so this is how it will show that there was an error in this rate, it has been failed, it's failed, then uh, it was copied successfully and was executed. If this was also read, then that could be a problem that we have to analyze. So this is how you are going to view the logs if the job get cancelled, okay. So hope you understood this topic as well as you have already know about the background jobs, how to schedule those things and so we will see more system monitoring activities in our next session.